Up next, it's the men's 200 meters. We'll take a look at Calvin Smith, Atlee Mahorn, and Robson De Silva. 100 meters, the world record belonging to Italy's Pietro Manea. 19.72, that world record established eight years ago. As you look down the lane assignments, Larry Watson, where in the world is Carl Lewis? Well, they put out an all-points bullet for him, but he never made it in time here, and uh, I guess we'll have to find out at a later date. I think Lewis is in great shape, though. We'll see what happens in a week or so. But those who are here, lane three, Calvin Smith, Floyd Hurd, also a force to be reckoned with tonight, as is Robson De Silva, and certainly Canada's Atlee Mahorn. Thomas Jefferson in lane two. That is the Olympic bronze medalist at this distance, 200 meters. Calvin Smith from Bolton, Mississippi, has had an illustrious career in the United States as a sprinter. Olympic gold medalist at 4 by 100. There you see Floyd Hurd, the youngest man ever to rank number one in the world at 200 meters. He's just a college student going into his junior year. John Regis from Great Britain will have lane five. From Brazil, Robson da Silva is in lane six, a good lane to be in on the outside. The turns are more gentle out there. Canada's Atlee Mahorn is in seven. It is a good start for Calvin Smith. He is the defending champion. Calvin Smith and Brazil's Robson da Silva, the World Cup champion. In 1985, it is lane three, Calvin Smith, and he is pouring it on. Calvin Smith and Robson da Silva, and it is Smith. I'm not sure if it was da Silva or Floyd Hurd who captured second place. A photo finished for second. Phil, I really think it was da Silva who got up there and nailed him. I think Floyd was surprised when he looked over to his right there on that. I saw him just look over before the finish line like, who is this guy coming up on me? 20 and 10 one-hundredths of a second. Only Carl Lewis has run faster this year as we watch the replay. Smith, a notoriously slow starter, gets out fairly well. He runs the turns very, very well. Looking at making up distance on Hurd already. He really has a very fine top speed for a guy who's just almost 5'10". He's really 5'9 in a fraction, but he can really motor for a guy who's not 6'2". And he really has had a great career, particularly at 200 meters, even though he's the world record holder for 100. Watch on the left in white. That is De Silva coming up to nail down second place from Floyd Hurd as the rest of the field trails by a good step or two. A tremendous finish for Calvin Smith, a very experienced runner, but at times has had a problem peaking too late. He certainly did not have that problem in Zurich. Look at the intensity. I love this camera work. Look at him peek over. Did you see that little peek? There it is again. You know, other athletes turn their head when they're less experienced. They look left, they look right, but here you just take a peek. Calvin Smith, second fastest time in the world this year. Floyd Hurd, the young man from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, takes third. It was four years ago at the Worlds when Calvin Smith won this race. And now, with just a week prior to the 1987 Worlds, the question is, is Calvin Smith ready again? For the 200, I wanted, first of all, to run a good turn. And my goal was to catch Hurd and try to pass him in the turn. Because he's a very good runner, and I know that he was, was going to be tough to beat. And I feel that I really did that, that I caught him and passed him. And... The rest was just to run as fast as I could in the straight and keep lifting my knees and, and uh, try to use some power going down the straight. Oh, the conditions are great. And with such a great crowd like it is here, they always pump to athletes stuff. And it really makes you want to go out and do your best. Uh, this will be my best time for this season. And I'm very pleased with it. And uh, hopefully I come out with a goal at the world.